Hey yo, what's good? Right now you watch a casino is the name, and in this video we're gonna talk about why your income is important, why money is important. <laughs> Yo, what's good? Right now you watching Casino is the name. I'm sitting here with my brother Columbus. You already know C O L is the name. <laughs> yeah. So you sitting here watching uh who, who playing? Oh, Falcons playing the uh Panthers, man. New York. Falcons playing the Panthers. He also was in school for accounting. He uh he still has some some finishing up to do. How much long you say? About two uh, years. Less than two years. Less than two years. Less than two years left. He also sees the value in it. Um, oh yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot of value. And I went the long route, you know what I'm saying? I did, I got my uh, diploma in accounting at the time. And then I was like, my, we're gonna get my bachelor. So yeah, gotta get that guy, got to. And if y'all hear a bunch of noise in the background, that's the kids running around. You know, you can't see them, but the kids running around in the other room, making a bunch of noise. But anyway, uh, just wanted to show y'all something. I've been working on this for a minute. So, the average millionaire has eight streams of income. So, I, I knew you guys were watching the channel trying to like, basically like learn about accounting and stuff like that, but there's so much more to this channel that I wanna bring. You kids, it's crazy. Um, but I wanted to also show you guys that there's other ways to get money, you know what I'm saying? So, this is something I did right here. This is my book, Vampire Sebastian and His Love for Alicia. It's available on Amazon. Y'all pick that up. It just came in the mail. This is the official. Hold on. Let's see if I can move this down. It's the official. Official copies right here. Just came in. I just, just got them in the mail. You know what I'm saying? So, but. It's so many things that you can do, and I just want to do everything. I want to do film. I got a movie I shot, short film. I uh, plan on shooting a full-length uh, film coming up soon. Uh, music. I still get royalty checks from music. And, you know, now I'm an author. I got five books total. Uh, they're all going to be different, you know, kind of stories. Jay, get out of here. We don't play in here. Look, boy, you got to keep him in line, you know what I'm saying? But... Just gonna be trying to show y'all other ways that you can still generate money, even if you know you're not working um, on it or making a lot of money from it. You know, every day it's still something. You know, something I ain't never got to do again. This is done. You know, and I got five more. The, the stories are already done. I got to do some editing on the stories and uh, you know the graphics as far as the uh, the covers and stuff like that. I really, I think the covers are done. I might have to, some tweaking to do, but. Yeah, man, like, you know, self-publishing, you know, everything. We're just trying to get this bag up. Want to tell them what you do? Hold on. I make sure y'all don't fly, fall out the sky in the map planes. <laughs> what, is that? what does that entail? Oh, uh, building airplane engines, rebuilding them. Uh, if they need some kind of work on them, they send the engines to us. We fix them, send them back. And this, Military flights, but mainly commercial flights. And this is also an Air Force veteran right here. Just like myself, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, anyway, my bro, y'all subscribe, how your boy? Hey yo, what's good? Right now you watch a casino is the name, and in this video we're gonna talk about why your income is important, why money is important. Um, And also, just wanna, remind you guys that this is a book that I put out. It's a vampire story. It's called The Vampire Sebastian and His Love for Alicia. And I have five more books, well, four more books that I'm putting out. They're going to be a, like a, a series of five. 
Um, the rest of those are not quite out yet. I haven't finished up um, kind of editing things, smoothing things out. But for right now, this video, this book is on Amazon, and I will be showing you guys how to do things like this. And this is basically just a side hustle, you know. Pick it up if you're interested. But basically, this video is about why money is important, why your income is important, why creating side hustles, other streams of income, why they're important. The average millionaire has eight streams of income. Most people, they have one, and that's usually their job. They usually don't make money from anything else. But on top of that, if we look back over economics, over the economics uh, from the last, I guess, say 20 years or so, um, you'll be shocked at what you find. College is four times, so let's look back at 1995. In 1995, college was four times cheaper to go to, it was four times cheaper than it is today to go to college or more. It was at least four times cheaper. So college is quadruple. Um, the price of cars have gone up. Gas has tripled. Uh, food has doubled, tripled. So everything is double, tripled. Would you believe that the average household income for a four, for a four person household was 53,000 in 1995? Today, in 2018, as of June 2018, the average household income for a four-person household is 62000 Yeah, and it's not even like $9,000. It's actually like $8,845 higher now than it was in 1995. But everything else tripled, quadrupled, doubled. The, everything that we buy, houses, the average house in 1995 was like 90,000 or so. Today, it's probably 220, 230. That's doubled and some going on tripling. And so when you look at how, how things have gone up and income has not gone up drastically, $8,000 is not a lot over 23 years. Um, it's crazy. So, when we're looking at income, it should, if it had doubled or tripled with everything else, the way inflation has doubled or tripled, quadrupled in some cases, then the average, as a minimum, the average household income should be about 150000 But it's not. We're talking 62000 So it, it, it is impossible for you to really save money, to for you to really get out of the hole if your money, your income does not really go up. I mean, it is possible for some who live off beans and rice, but that is not the way. It's crazy to think that people in 1995 could be could have lived better than they are now. So the middle class is shrinking, and people, people are either getting rich or they're getting poor, and people are getting rich a lot slower than other people are becoming poor. Most middle class is being pushed into the poor. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a scary thought to think that dang, like right now things are going up so fast that the average household income should be 150,000. And people who make 150,000 are only living the way people who made 52,000 lived in 1995 or 53,000 or whatever. So that's crazy. Um so also, why do I do things like this? Why do I have music royalties? Why do I create books why do I uh, why am I making plans right now to, to open a tax service or to start you know pre preparing to learn how to do tax why am I doing these things and I still have like a, a real good job you know why am I doing all of these things why am I shooting films why am I trying to create other streams of income it's because I want to be a millionaire, right? Like, I want to be richer than a millionaire. I don't want to just be like, uh, you know, have one million dollars, you know. Like, but the idea is we need to. <laughs> we, we To be financially independent, we have to either A, reduce the cost of things that you have, or B, increase your income and save your part of your income. Because even if you made a million dollars and you spent a million dollars 
you know, you really still don't have them, you know, you're not, you know, you're broke, basically. So you have to decrease your 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 means, like, the, I mean, not that your means, but you have to decrease what you spend and then increase your income or save as much as you can of your income and get some kind of interest on, on the money, you know, the highest interest rate that you can get, the safest way you can get it. And, uh, you know, basically just hope that, you know, things don't go up faster than you can save. And that's what, that's a big problem with the real estate today is like, there's a lot of people who want to get homes, but by the time they can, they get enough money saved for the down payment for the house that they're trying to get, the house is going up. And I hear that there may be a crash coming. I don't know. But right now, a lot of people are priced out. The down payments are so high uh, because the, the amount for the house is, is outside of, you know, their household income is allowing and so anyway these things that i can do you can do you can create books you can write uh movies you can shoot your own films you can do all of this stuff and i'm actually coming out with a probably gonna come out with a webinar to show like how to self-publish how to uh, uh use a camera how do you you know like if you don't know already how to write a script, how to write a script, how to um, source a script if you don't, if you're not, you know, gifted in that way. Um, I mean, even if you just produce the movie yourself, uh, you know, or whatever it is, but that the idea is there's power in ownership. It's power in owning your own home. It's power in owning your own books. It's power in all of these things because now, uh, I can take these books and I can sell them to Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can produce, like, uh, Anne Rice. She's, uh, she writes, like, The Vampire, Lestat, and uh, Interview with a Vampire. Those are just books that she took and she turned them into something else. And so, but it's power and ownership. That's the whole point that I'm trying to make. And not that I'm going to be trying to do that or anything like that, but uh, it, it's just power and ownership. I can do what I want to. You know, I can toward middle schools or high schools with my books if I want to. I can do whatever because they're mine. I own them. You know, I can't do that with, you know, a Harry Potter book because I don't own it. You can't do that with a Harry Potter book because you don't own it. But if you owned it, you can do whatever you want to. So it's power and ownership. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, invest in creating wealth. All right. Anyway, y'all hit subscribe. Y'all hit like, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all hit me on Instagram at King Casino One, and yo, how about your boy? So y'all remember I was saying the kids that was acting crazy in those room? It was these guys right here. It was these guys. Oh, you putting that mom? The princess over here. Oh, what's she at? There she go. Princess. Over what up, YouTube? Yeah. Where? So, Aiden has a channel. Aiden, tell me what's your channel name? I don't know. Okay, clearly he's not motivated. Um, <laughs> this is his shot. She has a YouTube channel. Rihanna, tell him what's your what's your YouTube channel name? What's my mama name? Tiffany Seldon. Say it, say it so they can hear. Where, like? Just say it. Tiffany Seldon. Tiffany Seldon is her channel. Okay, a lot more motivation than Aiden had. Um. So, yeah, let me show y'all what else we had going on around here. Got a house for us. Um, so, before I wasn't able to park my car in here because there was so much stuff that had came. Oh, no, y'all have to go to Columbus. But, finally able to put my car in the garage. Oh, yeah, that's my baby right here. That's my baby. That's my baby. Hey, Tom, Tom, I you are